but this fit perfectly. Oh no, it don't fit. This would allow me to put the short stuff up here. And there's no more wasted space. So I'm getting ready to put this together. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's three tier. If you watch my video, um, my haul, when I showed it to you, you would have seen the three different dimensions. You have the small, the medium, and the large. I'm not going to show you guys me doing this, but I did want to come on camera and show you that I am going to start working on it. And I'm just going to follow the steps on the box. The ones that I got... the the one that I got before had looked a little bit scratched up and the condition was not good. But these look like it's in good condition. I see what they did. So you see how they did it? So I wonder if I, if I could mix it up. I don't think I could do that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to building these. And then I'm going to um, show you um, how I organize it. Okay, so this is how it's looking. It has these clips. I put two on the big one, one and one. I could switch it up if I want to, but this is how it's looking. Looking, looking, looking. I can't wait to go ahead and organize this and show you guys the finished result. Listen, organization is not for the week. I have all these products. I did buy the shelf system. It came with three. The skinny one is outside. And have yet to put them up <laughs> like i said organization is not for the week okay i've been trying to film this video for the <laughs> i could say for the past month now <laughs> and i have not been able to get it done <laughs> mm. bless me so i'm gonna go ahead i'm not gonna show you me doing everything i'm gonna go ahead and clear it out and then restock it or reorganize it because I think I'm gonna put those bins underneath here, the other um uh sink, and then I'm gonna put my soaps and cleaning supplies and shampoos over here. So uh, let's see how that works out. Uh, like I said, not for the week. <laughs> Some of the stuff I might move over to my um body cream actually need to take this out so i could start using a body cream i'm gonna go ahead and move it over to my organization system i have um by my over my toilet i haven't even begun to use this one i bought this so long ago have not used it either I'm actually looking for something and that's why I'm doing this. You never to really put the effort in until it's time to find something you lost or you misplaced. But let me go ahead and do this and show you the results. I forgot to turn back on the video, but this is my um, sink underneath the um, side that I utilize the most. Because I do have double sinks and I use the right side. So I, this is the skinny shelf I was telling you about. So I have my toothpaste and stuff on the bottom, cleaning products, no, on the top and then cleaning products on the bottom. And here is really empty because, and here is really empty because I was able to save a lot of space with those two tier shelves. So I put my um, dryer here. I found that foot mask and then, of course, that wipe. And then I have. The box with my um, racks that remained over and then my rugs. So this is how this end up looking. So I have my soaps on the top, my shampoos on the bottom, my Ned. I need to get thrown away because I had that for quite some time. I need to change it out. I don't know if they expire, but yeah. My hands are crusty because <laughs> I've been cleaning. And then I have um, the scrapers for the holes. This is the clay to put into the holes and that's the scraper to scrape it. And then I have my windshield, my um, mirror wiper. This 
is my old clippers this is my new one so that one is a corded one and this one is the cordless one <laughs> game changer they're both wally the same thing but again just different with the cords then i have my soap <laughs> the other section was filled up with this um soaps but look at how organized it is so i have the hand washes to the bottom the refills to the <laughs> i have the soaps to the top <laughs> So I have my extra soaps at the top and then to the bottom, I the overflow is on this side and this is the refillable curtains. This has already been open. I was going to use up those first and then go to this, but I say, you know what? My downstairs bathroom don't have enough space. So I think these would be better utilized there. So if it drops, it wouldn't crack and get destroyed. So I'm using this for the... um soap dish that i got from bath and body works is like this but it's more fancy and it's glass and then i also got this from timu which came in handy because i have one for my flat iron i have another flat iron that i need to put there my daughter i gave it to her and she did not bring it back so i need to go get that skinny small flat iron that i let her borrow not keep then I have some rollers that I need to go. I have some in this bag. Bag is really disgusting, so I'm not gonna show you it. I need to go ahead and get it switched out and put my rollers in there. And then I put my rollers in the other section that's empty because as you can see, this one is full to capacity. So now let's go ahead and do the over-the-counter one, get it organized and decluttered. Well, not really decluttered because everything that's in there is going to be in there. We're just going to get it organized. But I'm so pleased with how this organization system came through. You got to get yourself a two-tier system. I got these from Amazon, so I'll link those down below. Don't forget, I do have an affiliate link. Go ahead and support your girl. Let's get into it okay so i got this package from amazon and i need to open it the shower curtain that i showed you in my last video it came with these hooks i forgot to mention that and i'm gonna put together the organizers that i got Ooh, ooh! i was wondering why it was 12 dollars, but this looked like good quality don't forget i'm gonna go ahead and link everything down but why was it outside of the packaging? It came in absolutely nothing, y'all. Let me see. Oh, they have the different organizers that they are showing right here. And this one here could be set like this. Or it could be set like this. But I'm going to have it on my shelf like this. I don't know about the depth of it because I get it. I got it to put my face mask in it, but it doesn't look that deep. But we're going to try it out and see how it works. I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, but I got some face masks. And I like that these are individually packaged. This is how it looks. 10 out of 10 i will also post this in a link down below because if you still wear masks i love these it doesn't smudge your face it protrudes out and it's so feminine looking and not just limited to fem like females but they have the ones that go up and down and it look like a a side with duck beak <laughs> not cute not cute for the aesthetics okay so this is another box I literally had these sitting down waiting <laughs> to go ahead and open them up. That's the thing about trying to do this YouTube thing. <laughs> you get packages and let them sit until the time is right. But I want to start organizing. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this. See the lines going through it? So I'm going to go ahead and do one on camera so you guys can see. I hope it fits. Okay? I hope. 
because the last one that I bought did not fit. I love the length of it. It's super long. It's clear. That is in different hues, but I just stick with the clear one because I don't want to do too much. What? No instruction? Come on. Come on. This is go figure it out. Oh, and have the little logo. But who have time? Hmm? They sent a logo, but you didn't send any instructions. Now I gotta do Bob the Builder. I guess this is go, you figure it out and you get it right. <laughs> and you see, like the plastic, the clear, the clear um, base isn't scratched up. I feel like the ones that I get from Team U are always scratched. Okay. Y'all yeah, did it. Didn't come with no instructions. Oh, okay. Okay. So you just slide it up on this groove and it sticks. And then you take one of these and you secure it in this hole right here. Okay, it's self-explanatory. But I still want my instructions, hey? Okay? If I pay money, I want the whole lines. I don't like the fact that they're beige, though. So now, how... <laughs> How do we clamp them in here? Don't tell me they're going to be protruding now. So I guess it protrudes like this, which I don't really care for. But what is? What is? So again, you're going to take this as like a little hook. You slide it up underneath here because they didn't bring the instructions. Trial and error. And then bang. Mm -mm -mm. I rebuke these allergies. Allergies be gone. And then you got to find the groove and then you just push it in. Well, some of them... Some of this, some of that. Like this one here, it's open like that. But this one here, oh, but I guess all of them like that. Eh? Come on. Let me just slide everything up and figure out how I gonna go ahead and get these clear things. Okay, like I said, where there is a will, there is a way. So this is how it is, and with how with how um tight of a squeeze these is, are these really necessary? Come on, but we're gonna see. Then just make sure you find the groove. And before I press it all down at once, I want to fit everything in. So when I slide it down, none going to pop out. And I won't have no difficulties. Okay, just like that. Just like that. And then press. Oh, not too hard. Oh, this one didn't even went in. I said, look at how I nearly break off the chain. Broke off the chain. So just be careful. Like I said, this is a tight groove. I don't really need those yellow things. And honestly, I don't like how they look protruding like this. So I'm, I think I'm going to leave this off. Right? It's pretty sturdy like this. I guess those are optional. I'm going to pull it up to see what functionality these serve. But this is pretty sturdy. And the groove, when you push it down and you put something on top, it's not like you, you rust, risk the possibility of it sliding off because it's against the grain. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to put those little knobs on, you can. 
I don't think I really care for it, but let me go ahead and try it out in a space before I put up the other one to see if it would allow me to close the door while this is inside. Because you know the other shelf that I bought, I couldn't close the door properly with that other system, so I had to go ahead and find something a little bit slender. When I did do the measurements, the this measure smaller, but I still want to try it. Okay, I still want to check it out, so let me go ahead and see okay y'all so it fit exactly how i wanted it to fit i was gonna leave these clear things off these cream things off in the picture they looked more silvery i'm not gonna knock it i'm not gonna send it back but i say for aesthetics purposes let me go ahead and just put it on it comes with one extra knob that knob is not behaving so let me try the other one Yes, so it does fit in the space well, and I'm able to close the door. So let me go ahead and put up the other one, and I will show you guys how I organize it, okay? Again, this is how it looks. Um, It's sturdy enough for what I'm going to use it for. I love it. I didn't need anything too expensive. I needed it just right so I could have my taller stuff on the bottom then my short like vix on the top i'll show you guys how i organize it but this is one i'm gonna go ahead and put the other one together off camera and then we're gonna go to the bathroom and organize okay so <laughs> before i go ahead and continue with my um organizing i'm gonna go ahead and spray my shower because I am going to scrub that down tonight. And for storage purpose, I am. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm not going to go ahead and show you the whole cleaning process because right now i'm currently editing a my wash day video which is gonna be up um it's gonna be up after no before this video that i'm doing this organization video <laughs> and right now it's at 45 minutes but i'm gonna try to edit it down I'm pretty sure i'll be editing it down because i have some edits i need to get done So I may or not may or may not show you me cleaning this bathroom, but the star of the show really is <laughs> my organizer. Actually, let me do it like this. Right now, this is how my cabinet is looking. <laughs> all clustered, all cluttered. Don't judge me. I'm going to go ahead and start with the bottom and um, organize that and see how it goes. to fit but that's fine i'm gonna use this outside where um i'm gonna have my corner organizer but this fit perfectly oh no it don't fit the door doesn't close the door does not close but the thing is, it fits on the shelf, but 
because of how the door is, it doesn't fit and close. Cause see, I could have put my little knickknacks on top here. Dang, if this don't fit, I'm gonna return it. That is no bueno. No bueno, so we back to the drawing board again. Dang, I didn't account for the doors. The doors eat up most of a half an inch. Dang. Back to the drawing board. I am going to keep the Lazy Susan because, again, I'm going to put that on the corner shelf. But we're going to have to come back and... <laughs> I, I, we're going to have to come back to the drawing board. Dang. Now, I need to measure and measure for this. Okay. Don't worry. I'll come back. Okay, so right now, this is how it is looking. I tried to take everything off. I did wipe it down, but that was uh, two weeks ago. Ooh. I wiped it down two weeks ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe it on again. Because you can never get too much white down in. And you can see I'm all over the place, y'all. I am all over the place. But we're going to get it together. I am just so glad I finally found an organizer. If I'm in the way, I'm sorry. Because I don't know. Oh, there was another way I was doing it. But let's see how this way works. I don't really want to apply too much wet thing on this because it's not real wood. The last time I did wipe it with my rag, it was okay. I had no problem with it. Okay, so I brought you guys in a little closer so you don't have to watch my back the entire time. But this is how I'm going to put the shelf. And when I tell you I'm excited, I'm excited. So when I close it, I'm not going to have an issue. Hold on. Hold on. So... This one isn't rocking, but this one is rocking a lot, and I don't know why. Why is it rocking? Let me see if I put it. One of them is rocking, and I don't know which leg. The other one that I put up. The legs are not rocking. Do I have time to figure it out? No. <laughs> I don't like that part, but I know it's going to bug me. And I will come back to it. But for right now, this is how it looks. The door closes shut. And that's what I want. This is what I was talking about. This would allow me to put the short stuff up here. And there's no more wasted space. Okay, so let me go ahead and fix this from racking too much, and then I'll come back. Okay, y'all. 
I'm going to have to manage. I can't get the rack out of it, but I'm not going to stay here and fight with it all night. I think that's just how it's going to be. And that's absolutely fine. It's still going to serve the purpose. That it's going to serve. Mm -hmm. It's going to serve the purpose. to stack these stuff more efficiently because the way how it was why is everything dropping like why so do I really want my to brush up here oh. because it's gonna be taking up space for something that really could go up here that's short, right? I just like the fact that now my stuff are going to be stacked and then I have some more clips. I need no more clips. <laughs> None. Okay. So these are some gloves. I don't use these gloves. No, I'm not going to throw it away. I was going to throw it away because I have a whole slew of gloves right here, but I'm not going to do that. I also have some soaps, which these need to be underneath the sink. So I'm going to move these. But I do want my gloves to be. Let me see. Could that be more efficient if I lean up like this? What is it? And then I have like tools for my eyeliner. These two brush, I don't really care for them. I think they're more appropriate for little kids. They're more appropriate for little kids, but will I use them? Yes, because I bought them. And then this is what I got from Timmy to help me do my mascara. I have a pick. Put my pick right here. And then this I got for the shower curtain. I wanted to get two of them. Um, but the way how I have my shower curtain done, I don't really need this right now. So. And then this is extra tabs for like my shower curtain. The sticky stuff. And then I have rubber bands. I have scrunchie. This is where I need more organization for because I don't want them to just be on top there. I want to get another shelf system so that I could maximize the space. One second. So this is the clear shelf that I got. Let's see. So I don't mind the cotton balls being here. This got a whole slew of them and have not used them once. I need to start dibbling and dabbling in the makeup. But I'd be so nervous. I don't know why. Just need to. Uh, the height is good. Remember, I said I got these in my face mask, but I don't think the depth of it yeah, is not deep enough. It's not. 
like for this now it'll fit this it'll fit like my scrunchies oh i guess i could have it for these now nah. i could have it for those stuff i could put my eye stuff here but i really wanted something different my two picks but am I really using the space to run like this I'm, I'm, it's not that deep the space on the shelf on this shelf is not that deep so I can't even get drawers to pull it out because I'm going to need it to be a certain measurement in order for it to fit these in <sighs> But is this good? And then I could also turn it like this as well. But no, because if I do, it's not going to close. Oh, it is closing though. Hold on there. No, it's not closing. I'll put it here. It kind of closes. No, because this is protruding a little bit more. Uh, this one might be a fail. Because I don't want to just buy stuff and keep it for keeping it safe. Everything must have purpose. And right now, this is this. This is all right. But for this, I will prefer to get a little basket. A wig, a wig net basket. And just throw these in. You see what I'm saying? I don't need them to be separated like how they are now. But I'm going to go back to the drawing board. This is good if you're looking for a shelf system. To me, it's not deep enough. And also, I thought the how, how I was going to use it, I'm not going to be able to use it. Oh, such a waste. So, this is going to go back. But I would definitely recommend if you're looking for something this size. Because the actual quality of it, it's nice. Okay, y'all. You're going to have to stay tuned for um, part two. So, you see, I put up the shelves here. And I need to figure out the top. Right now, I don't have any time <laughs> to be stressed right now. As for the bottom right here, I'm going to go ahead and pull back down the um, plastic bins that I have my liner and pads in i do need to refill those but i took them from here because i had this stuff then that was in there rested here so when i get when i had received these um shelf organizers i would have been able to just put it up without having to take them back out all back out so i'm gonna put it back down <laughs> we're gonna go back to the drawing board and find something for this top shelf it might be a basket because i don't need a two tear shelf for the top I just need to throw these knickknacks in and let it be that. It might be wicker. I don't mind the gloves being out nor the Q-tape. Even the um, cotton swabs, I don't mind because those are just overflows. But these little knickknacks with my toothbrush, my hair clips, my... Those gotta be concealed. So I'm gonna go back to Amazon. I was gonna get a shelf, but I think I'm just gonna do it a basket, probably a wicker basket, throw them all in and call it George, okay? Right now, my plastic bins are sitting on top here. So I'm going to go ahead and get them removed. You can see they're practically empty. Got to go ahead and restock it. But that's going to be another day. Okay, so stay tuned to part two.